Hey guys, so thank you so much for uh, coming back to the channel. Um, so today I'm going to share with you a short story and then I'll take you to uh, what I picked up in the thrift store. Um, so it's got, this is how it got started, right? Um, about seven years ago, I transitioned um, away from a extremely stressful, uh, fast-paced career. I pretty much retired. Um, I did good. I did extremely well. Um, so I retired. I retired early. Uh, at around 50, no, 48 years old or something like that. I, I don't, you know, yeah, somewhere around there, uh, 48, 49. Um, so I had a bunch of stuff because, um, you know, I had to dress the part. So I got rid of, I started putting stuff up for sale uh, on eBay. I tried it. Um, I, uh, when I f moved back to Texas, um, I bought a pair of boots and uh, at a thrift store just for an event. Um, it was a uh, uh, cowboys and, and rhinestone. So the guys suit up uh, uh, like cowboys and the ladies uh, wear rhinestones, uh, like denim and stuff like that. So anyway, so I put those boots up for sale. I, put, I paid $38, $38 for it and then I sold it for $600 on eBay. So I started putting, away, started putting a lot of my stuff up on eBay. The first year I made around $44,000 or something like that and I just it was I hardly did any work. So um, I got burned out after two years of it I got burned out so um, so I started again slowly so I took the uh, I took the proceeds that I made from it and I started investing gold coins. Um, so uh, I haven't listed anything in two years um, so I'm gonna go back uh, so, so the last, this last, I don't know, half, half a year, I, uh, six months or so, I started thrifting again. And uh, I started picking up stuff here and there. And I'm going to share with you what I picked up and I plan on listing. And then I'm going to accumulate the asset to uh, buy some more gold coins. So with that, follow me over to, uh, to uh, some of the stuff. I'll share, I'll share with you some of the stuff that I purchased. So quickly, um, these are footwear. Um, I picked these up. They, uh, they do extremely well. Uh, I learned over time that footwear does extremely well. And I like shipping apparels. I used to ship pretty much anything and they just break, you know, like cups and et cetera, uh, dishes, um, whatever it is, uh, hard to find stuff. And they break, uh, even cast iron break. So I like shipping apparels, um, some of the finer stuff that... Uh, uh, that I buy, like Robert Graham, uh, um, Salvage Jeans, um, uh, and footwear. So I'm gonna, this video is about footwear. Um, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how much I paid for them, and um, potential, potentially I'll, I'll, sh I'll share with you the gain. So the gain should be around 10 times what I pay for it, okay? So let's start with this. Allen Edmonds, like I picked these pairs up uh, not too long ago, right? They're... Um, Allen Edmonds Brown uh, Oxford, because uh, Oxford shoes are like close, close lacing. And I'll tell you what I paid for them. I think I paid $6.98. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, $6.98 for uh, these things. These, um, the um, Park Avenues here, they go so fast. And they're Allen Edmonds, extremely well made, cap toed. Um, I probably need to put like a pair, uh, a quick shine to it, you know, not much work, not much worn, uh, original Allen Edmonds, um, uh, sole, as you can see, uh, Allen Edmonds sole. So these are great, great shoes. Um, I paid $7 plus tax, so I'll probably get, I don't know, $70 for a quick sale, uh, on Allen Edmonds. Here's another Allen Edmonds. A pair of shoes. These are vintage. They're a little older. Uh, gosh, I, I think I paid like seven or eight dollars. I didn't pay any much more than that. Um, they're vintage, but man, they're in great condition. Um, look at that. Right. So th these may be a little harder to sell because they're a little average foot size for men is like a nine, and uh, women are around I think around eight, seven or eight. Um, they may even be women's nine now, but uh, here's a pair. Of, so I'll probably get I don't know fifty bucks for those. Another pair of Allen Edmonds. These are loafers, uh, pretty good shape. Nah, you know they're worn. I probably get thirty bucks for these. I probably paid seven dollars for them. 
Uh, now the shoes around here are starting to get a little high. Uh, they're not quite as high as Austin, the San Antonio stores. The Goodwills and a Texas Thrift in this area does not, it's not quite as high as Austin. Austin stuff just real expensive. And I do, I do have a place down in, kind of like a beach house down in uh, Corpus. And I do go down there, but there it's just like furnitures and utensils and uh, um, bedding. And I do buy those uh, as my, for my vacation rentals. Uh, so these are a pair of Timberlands. Pretty much new. I think I paid a little more for these. Uh, Ten dollars. You know. Uh, but they are in great condition. I'll probably get 30 bucks, 40 bucks for them. A uh, pair of Uggs. Uh, lady Uggs. I do need to clean them. Um, these are Chelsea boots. Uh, with the wool inside. Uh, pretty good condition. Um, I think I paid seven dollars for those. Eight dollars maybe. I don't know. I don't remember, but I didn't pay very much for them. Um, I'll flip those. A pair of Gucci. Uh, Gucci shoes are these designer shoes. Uh, are name shoes. You know, just just for look to to impress folks. They're not very uh, well made. Um, you can see it's uh, you know 360, 360 degree welted. No, 270, 270 degrees welted. Um, but they're not the best. You know, I'm, they're probably not comfortable. Um, but Gucci shoes does go. Uh, they're made in Italy. Uh, the Allen Edmund, Edmonds are made in the United States. Timberlands, they have a lifetime warranty on them. If they de if any defects goes, that's, that's the nice thing about selling Timberlands. They're well made. Uh, any defects, you send back to the company and they'll give you a voucher to get another pair. Um, these are mine. Uh, I bought these, Johnson & Murphy. Um, sort of like Oxford um, Derby kind of combination between Oxford and a Derby um, they're so uncomfortable and heavy so I'm gonna give it up uh, another pair of polos um, Ralph Lauren polos these are not made by uh, um, Edward Green uh, from England these are you know I, don't, I think they're Chinese made uh, but polos do go so they're kind of like a Chelsea half Chelsea Quarter boot. I don't know. Um, these are mine. These are fry. Uh, I wore them. I do like them. They're very comfortable. Um, I just don't like them anymore. So cap toed. As you can see, fry has decreased in value. I mean, in quality. Look at the t stitching. It's not perfect at all. Um, you know. So I was kind of disappointed uh, in them as I wear them and look at them closer. They do last. They're pretty. They're they're comfortable. They're ten times more comfortable than than these Johnson and Murphy right here, and a lot lighter too. Um, but I no longer need them, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm switching over to Shell Cordovan. Uh, another another great find, especially down here in San Antonio, are are boots. Uh, these are almost perfect. Uh, I paid thirty six dollars for them. They're fry. Uh, beautiful boots. Uh, so I'm going to, pretty decent stitching on it. You can see the contrasting stitching here. Uh, they're pretty tight. They're beautiful, beautiful color. So I got these for 36 bucks. Um, I'll share it with you a, a great find here. I think I paid 36 bucks for these at Goodwill. Uh, these are Lucchese. And here's the cool thing about Lucchese. Lucchese used to be manufactured here in San Antonio. And uh, they moved to... Uh, El Paso, but these are San Antonio, Lucchese from San Antonio, uh, made in San Antonio. Where's that? Uh, it's in here somewhere. They're nine and a half, they're narrow, uh, but these are San Antonio boots, so they're pretty rare. And you can see it right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Does that say San Antonio? Kind of dark. See it? So they're kind of rare. Um, I'll get really good money for these. Um, they're like new. Right. Um, these are Brooks English. Um, when I first looked at them, I thought they were Edward Green. My heart started beating because the stitching is just so tight. You know, they're just great made. They're Brooks English made. They're made in England um, and for Brooks Brothers. 
Uh, these are size eight, I think eight and a half. So I'll, I'll probably have a harder time selling these, but they will go because they're just super high quality. I think I paid uh, pay seven bucks for it. Look at that. And uh, the stitching is so tight on this thing, you know, compared to look how wide it is in a uh, in a Gucci or you know. Like, and then I got a pair. Of, these these goes uh, extremely quick. These are leather sorrel. And uh, they're kind of like winter boots, but they, they, gosh, every time I list one of these, it just goes. Um, and then, of course, Jonathan Murphy, uh, the, the uh, Chukka boot, desert boot. Um, probably have a hard time selling these things because Jonathan Murphy's are, their quality is not uh, um, that great anymore, but it is 360, 360, 360 degree Goodyear welted. Uh, so these are pretty decent uh, pair of boot. Um, I don't usually um, sell Jonathan Murphy that fast, but in a chuck of boot, it might be uh, might be a different story. I think I paid ten dollars for these. These are Salvatore uh, Feder Um They're made in Italy, size thirteen. Uh, Great shape, almost new. Uh, split toe, uh, derby. No, they're not derby. They're uh, a blucher. Uh, these, these are just. This is not a separate piece. So they're blucher, split toe blucher, and a leather made, made in Italy. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so that I try to talk fast so I can get this uh, get this video finished. Um, so what I do is I will most likely put a light coat of polish on them, clean them up. I sanitize. Um, with the disinfectant spray like the bowling alley do I do that to all the shoes uh, before I handle them and then I'll do it again uh, I do I do it twice before I handle them and then I'll do it again before I ship it out um, with that I hope you guys like the video um, I'll do more uh, of this uh, stuff because I haven't done this stuff in a long time uh, I closed out a channel that I had quite a few years ago um, but I'm gonna Put a little more time towards listing, um, uh, thrifting, and, uh, um, you know, I'll share with you what I find. So with that, you guys have a great, uh, great day.